So today we're going to talk about the distance formula. And the distance formula finds the distance between two points. So we have this point x1, y1, x2, y2. And that's what we just substitute in for the, the two points we're trying to find the distance between. So distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 pl squared plus y2 y1 minus y1 squared. So we're going to do some examples. So we have the square root of Okay, so the square root of 2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So when we solve this, first we're going to do what's in parentheses first. So 2 minus 6 is negative 4 squared plus 1 minus 4 is negative 3 squared. So when we square a number, we get 16 plus 9, and that equals the square root of 25, which, if you remember, is one of our perfect squares, and it equals 5. And technically, it equals plus or minus 5. But if you think about it, you can't have a negative distance. There can't be a negative distance between this point and this point, it has a distance. So we kick out that negative answer and we only take the positive one. So it's pretty easy, but we're going to do some more examples just to be sure. So we have the square root of x1 minus y1, or x1 plus y2 minus y1 squared. So when you subtract a negative, you're really adding a positive. So the 2 plus 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36 plus 5. When you subtract a negative, you add a positive. So plus 10 squared, which is 100. So the square root of 136. And remember, we only want the positive answer. We're going to do one more example here. Square root of negative 3 minus 9 squared plus 4 minus 8 squared. The square root negative 3 minus 9 gives us negative 12 squared is 144 plus 4 minus 8 is negative 4, negative 4 squared is 16. So, and if you add those together you get the square root of 160. So, that's all for the distance formula. Make sure you come back and watch the next lesson where we go over the midpoint formula.